Mavex, encoders, and decoders distribute full HD quality video and audio over IP using minimal bandwidth at a lower cost than competing products. In this video, you'll learn how easy it is to remotely discover and manage your Mavex devices on a subnet of your IP network and even add devices outside of the subnet using Matrox PowerStream software. To begin, Install PowerStream on a Windows-based system connected to the subnet with a DHCP server in place. To avoid delays, I've configured the controller system with a fixed IP address as its DNS server. Once the software is installed, double-click the PowerStream icon on your desktop. The software will automatically show all the encoders and decoders on your subnet. Devices are represented by tiles and the status of a specific device is indicated by its tiles text and color. For example, when a device is in the process of encoding or decoding, it is bright green. If a unit previously detected on the network is no longer found, it shows up as dark gray and includes the last known IP address. To add a unit that isn't part of your subnet, you can click on Add Device and then enter its IP address in the prompt. It will then appear on the screen. When a device is green, it is ready for you to configure its settings. Double click on an encoder. Here you will see the selected encoder's serial number, DHCP assigned IP address, name, and stream address and properties. You can easily change the name of the encoder, which is initially set to its serial number. You can change it to better reflect the source content it is encoding or even something simply more familiar to you. Just type in a new name and press apply. The name on the main page has been changed too. By default, the encoder is set up to stream at high quality while using optimal bandwidth. If you want to fine tune its settings, you can click on this arrow to access other parameters. But right now, we will stick to the basics. Once they are adjusted to your liking, though, you can begin streaming. Just press Start Encoding. It's just as easy to access individual decoder settings. Double click on a decoder settings icon. Here you see all the decoder's basic information and again, just like the encoder, you can click this arrow to access other parameters. You can also assign the decoder to the encoded source of your choice. For now, be sure the encoder corresponding to the stream address is actually encoding. If not, an error message will appear. Since we already pressed Start Encoding, we can now safely press Start Decoding. Then watch as the source content gets distributed onto the decoder output. As you can see, Matrox PowerStream is a remarkably easy to use tool and provides a multitude of features and settings for control of your entire Mavex network. Remotely discovering and managing your Mavex devices is a very simple process, but also just the beginning.